So Marty, here we are at the 2021 Hampton Classic. You're theoretically in charge of almost everything. And it's been a hell of a, a um, weather situation with two tropical storms and the near hurricanes. How, how are you faring? Well, thank God it's all turning out okay, but it's been quite a two weeks. Never ever what we expected. You know, we build this facility up over a period of weeks. We put up 1,600 stalls for the horses. We had, I think it was 16 stapling tents, about 70 or 80 other tents around the grounds. When Henri was coming, we took everything down in one day. Henri came and went, put everything back up, and we had three straight days of 95 degree heat where everyone had to work. We were just about at our limit, but then we're ready for opening day. Opening day comes, first class in the Grand Prix ring, our famed, beloved Grass Grand Prix field, and we could see that the new grass that had been put in a couple years ago the roots just didn't take hold. It was not safe. I commend the leadership of this horse show. They took decisive action, immediate action, the responsible decision. 30 minutes after that class ended, ripped the grass, made the decision to rip the grass out. Bulldozers were in the ring an hour later, or worked overnight the next day, took everything out, brought in the sand surface. We moved all the classes that had been scheduled for the Grand Prix ring to Jumper Ring 2, got the new surface in, the riders rode on it on the flat on Wednesday, they got to jump on it, not in a competition, in a warm-up Thursday. Friday morning, here we are back in the Grand Prix ring, everything is riding well, the riders are giving it the thumbs up, and we are ready for a great culminating weekend here at the Hampton Classic. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Marty. We look forward to it. It looks like a hell of an arena there, and uh, hopefully the riders will do well. Thanks so much. Thank you, Greg. All right, so why are you here today? What's the, uh, what's the special occasion for? Well, I'm Valerie, Vice President from the Equus Foundation, which is the only national charity that's focused 100% on horse welfare. And Jim Dratfield did this incredible book called Her Horse, which we're unveiling at the Hampton Classic that benefits the Equus Foundation. <laughs> And it's filled with all kinds of women who love horses, including Serena Marin and her horse Rapid Dash, who is one of our ambassadors, our equine ambassadors. Every time he wins, and he wins a lot, we get money for horses at risk. So we're here celebrating all that horses do for us. And Jim's beautiful book that's brand new, we're unveiling it at the Hampton Classic with proceeds to benefit at-risk horses through the Equus Foundation. I'm in the book, Serena's in the book, and a whole bunch of us here are in the book. So we're thrilled to be here and love Jim's photography and we're honored to be part of this. Very impressive, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be back after such a long wait. McLean, you're fresh off the Olympics. Unbelievable. I'm not going to say anything more than two gold and two silver in, in the Olympics, and uh, it's a record to be beat. How do you feel right now in being in that position? Well, thank you, Greg. Yeah, it was a, it was a great trip to Tokyo, an incredible team of horses and people and teammates. 
Uh, I've been very blessed, five Olympic Games and four medals, and uh, uh, it's a great feeling. It's a great uh, feeling of pride to represent your country, and uh, very proud of my horse, Contagious, and hope I can get a couple more Olympics before I'm seven done. Beautiful. Now, I just saw you jump, Contagious, beautiful horse, and as you know, every event is different. We have a unique year this year because of the rain and because of a new surface that they um, had to replace the old grass surface. Tell me a little bit about what you felt and what you think about the fact of what they put in its place and you describe that to me. Well, it's been a real unique set of circumstances, obviously, in the world of the world in general, the world of sport. Uh, two years ago here, the Hampton Classic made a great infrastructure investment of redoing the turf. Uh, and then COVID hit and everything was shut down, all of the workforce was furloughed and we missed a year last year um, and the assumption was that the ground would have time to take and root and unfortunately uh, we found out on Sunday that that actually didn't happen and the, the turf, as, as sod turf can do, was, was peeling up somewhat like a carpet um, and it was a real difficult scenario when we looked ahead to the event this week. Uh, the team here at the Hampton Classic uh, made a great uh, uh, improvision and band-aid uh, for the week here and tore up the turf, uh, amazingly, in 48 hours uh, and put in a, a sand uh, topsoil mix. Probably not the long-term solution. It isn't quite the uh, synthetic uh, trampoline-like footing we typically jump on now when we go all weather. Um, it's a little bit more of an old school uh, solution. Uh, doesn't create quite the spring that we're used to. Um, but there's some arguments to be made as we were discussing, Greg, um, about what is uh, easier on the horse's joints and ligaments. Um, and it, it, the argument can be made that this sand that moves to some degree uh, creates less stress on, on the soft tissue. Well, we're here at the Hampton Classics, and I took a quick count. You won the Grand Prix jump off seven times. and it's almost embarrassing to say that there's some really, really good jumpers that haven't come anywhere close to what you've accomplished, which is a real testament to your ability, to your mounts that you've gotten, and to all the conditions that fall together. But also, you've been in so many Olympics, and at some point, you've got to think about the future. And I see that you're, you're into training and teaching students, that one of your students did well. And also, you've got your favorite youngest student, I understand, too. Yes. Uh, a little girl named Lily, and she's starting to compete. So this is third generation. Uh, how does that feel? Uh, well, you know, that was very exciting. Uh, Lily was champion in the short stirrup here on Tuesday at the Hampton Classic, which is a very big deal. Uh, and, you know, that's been a new experience. I actually don't do a lot of teaching. I, I coach and mentor two uh, real top uh, riders. Uh, also, I assist Lucy Delorier with her father, who's also an Olympian. Um, so those are real specialized situations. Uh, it's not a traditional training uh, setup. Um, and it's more about guiding them. Um, they are Olympic level riders. Uh, and, I, and I gain a lot of uh, great knowledge from them as well and energy and to see their zest for the sport uh, and they chasing their goals. It's, it's a lot of fun. Well, we look forward to watching you in the Grand Prix jump off and we wish you the best. We wish a safe ride for all the riders and all the horses and hopefully we'll reconnect in the future. You're a wealth of knowledge and you're very gracious to share your information. Well, I look forward to that, Greg, and uh, nice to spend some time with you.